blood flows, transformation and role of orgasm. In the process of transformation, orgasm and its deep understanding plays an important role. By orgasm, I do not mean what you understand by it. Orgasm indeed is inner explosion of bliss. First bliss explodes, then it becomes a harmony. It is harmony that guides all your actions and thinking. This inner explosion of bliss can happen because of so many factors. Bliss is important aspect of life and growth. In the Eastern languages, there is no word which can be used as translation for orgasm. It was not needed. It was simply never touched because man has taught woman that it is only prostitutes who enjoy sex. They moan, groan, scream and they go almost crazy. However, to be a respectable woman, you should not do such things. So the woman remains tense and feels humiliated deep down that she has been used. It has been reported that after making love, when their husbands go to go on snoring, they have wept. A woman is like a musical instrument. Just as an instrument is tuned before a melody can be played or harmony can be created between vocals and tunes or musical waves of joy can flow towards the audience, so too a woman's body and her emotions have to be tuned for symphony to overflow. Her whole body has immense sensitivity and that sensitivity should be aroused first. So there is a need for foreplay and after making love, the man should not go to sleep. That is ugly, uncivilized and uncultured. A woman A woman who has given you so much joy needs some respect and after play too. Just out of gratitude, this question is very important and is going to become more and more important and relevant in the future. The problem has to be solved before transformation can really happen. In this regard, religion and rotten old ideas are barriers. They are preventing half of human humanity from being joyous and their whole energy that should have blossomed in flowers of joy turns sour and poisonous in nagging and being bitchy. Otherwise all this nagging and bitchiness would disappear. Men and women should be in love but they should also maintain or retain their individual freedom. They do not owe anything to each other, but it is possible only if sex is taken as playfulness and fun. It is not sin. Instead, it is fun and with respect, with recent medical researches, now there is no fear about having children unwanted. In the past, it was difficult because making love meant more and more children. That was destroying the woman. She was always pregnant and to remain pregnant and give birth to several children is a torturous experience. I see society divided into two class, classes, man and woman. Man has remained the master for centuries and woman the slave. She has been auctioned, she has been sold, she has been burnt alive. Everything inhuman that can be done has been done to woman. And they 
continue half of humanity. The whole future can be a totally different phenomenon. All the women of the world just need to fight for a separate voting system so that a woman will vote only for women and a man should vote only for a man. Then in every parliament there will be half women and half men. The only way to change the status of women is to allow science full freedom to transform the relationship between man and woman and to drop the unwanted ideas that are absolutely ugly because of a kind of a private ownership. Human beings cannot be owned, they are not property, and love should be just a joyful play. Now these are facts which have to be taken into account. Man has for centuries forced the woman to control herself and who has kept her at a distance, never allowing her to be too intimate. All his talks about love are useless. There is an outrageous woman locked up inside each one of us. When she comes out once in a while, men usually freak out, so she goes back into hibernation, plays safe and is totally frustrated. This is not only your story, it is the story of all women. They are living in deep frustration, finding no way out, knowing nothing about what has been taken away from them. They have only one opening. They will be found in churches, in temples, in synagogues, praying to God, but that God is also a male chauvinist. The problem is that unless you lose control while making love, you will not have an orgasmic experience. An orgasmic experience, the experience of inner explosion is very important for the process of transformation to begin. It will require more understanding for the woman will moan and groan and scream. It is because her whole body is involved, a total involvement on part of the woman. You need not be afraid of anything. The entire process is tremendously healing. She will no more be witchy towards you. Also, she will not nag you. Once the bliss explodes within her and it becomes harmony, because all the energy that becomes witchiness has been transformed into an state of immense joy that explodes within during the act of love making. Make your love a really festive affair. Do not make it a hit and run affair. Dance, sing, play music, and do not let sex be cerebral alone. Cerebral sex is not authentic. Sex should be natural and spontaneous. Create the situation. Your bedroom should be a place as holy as a temple. In your bedroom, do not do anything else. Sing and dance and play. And if love happens on its own, naturally and spontaneously, 
as an in spontaneous happening, you will be immensely surprised that biology has given you the glimpse of meditation. The moment your love becomes spontaneous and natural, you will be immensely surprised that your biology has given you the glimpse of meditation and do not be worried about the woman who is going to be going crazy. She has to be crazy. Her whole body is in totally different space. She cannot retain, she cannot remain in control when the inner joy explodes. If she controls, she will remain like a corpse. Millions of people are making love to corpse. I have heard about Kilopetra when she died, what happened to her. And I was surprised that when people are making love, it is almost they are making love to corpse. Enough for now.